Hi, my name is Kevin, and I'm a Customer Engagement Executive with SAP S4 HANA Cloud. Today we'll be talking about in-app and side-by-side -side extensibility. First, we'll be looking at in-app extensibility. Within S4 HANA Cloud, you have the ability to adapt existing Fiori UIs, create a custom user interface, also create custom forms and email templates, and also create your own custom CDS views as well as add custom visit logic to certain business objects, and even create custom fields and create custom business objects as well. This all ranges from small UI adaptions to com complex business logic. It's suitable for technical and non-technical users. Obviously, your mileage may vary. All changes are update-proof as well, per each of our quarterly updates. For adapt existing Fiori UIs, users can change the look and feel of screens in order to adapt them to their organizations. Here, you can see we can do things as simple as hide fields, forms, templates, filters, hide groups, and user areas. We can actually rename the labels to make them more relevant for organization. We can add fields to UI from our own field repository for each of these business objects. We may not have all the information available to the business object on the screen. However, you can also add additional fields if they exist for the business object. You can move form field or UI groups, create your own groups, combine fields and split them into combined fields. And of course, define new filters and table variants. For creating custom user interfaces within SAP S4 HANA Cloud, we provide SAP Web IDE services within SAP Cloud Platform. Here, we provide templates that you can use to create your own user interfaces and deploy UIs back into our SAP UI5 ABAP repository of SAP S4 HANA Cloud. Uh, you'll see here, we provide a link for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create these user interfaces. This tutorial will take you step-by-step -step in creating custom UIs for S4 HANA Cloud with an SAP Cloud Platform. You'll learn how to create a UI from template adapt that UI to your needs, and even test that UI, and finally deploy it to your SAP S4 HANA Cloud system. S4 HANA also allows you to create custom forms and email templates to use. You can access these through the how applications maintain email templates and maintain form templates. Here, you can create your own email templates or even reuse existing templates to create the forms that you will need. In addition, you also can customize your form templates using Adobe Lifecycle Designer, which is a one-stop shop for design tools for form templates. This will always allow you to leverage OData services and CDS views within S4 HANA Cloud. The custom CDS views application can be used to create new CDS views based on existing CDS views within the system. It can also be used to create new analytical cubes. You can then consume these within our custom code extensions, as well as expose them as OData services. Where applicable, custom logic can be added to our existing business objects and allowing you to extend your business processes. It makes use of extracted ABOP code. The only restriction, of course, is against DB operations, except for selecting uh, from release views, tweaking new tasks, and dynamic programming. You can also test this code before publishing it to your production systems. Batting documentation and sample code is provided to help guide you. During the Adapt UI slide, we talked about adding fields that already exist in the system. However, it may be necessary to create your own custom fields. Here, you can add custom fields to any screen that also will tie back, in some cases, to the business object that's being used by that application. You can create new fields in the application's business context. You can choose different data types. And you can create your own fields and enhance implementation to customize applications and other UIs, such as reports, email templates, and form templates. And you can make the field available in other languages, by definition. Also, within the custom fields and logic application, 
there is the ability to, to do data source extensions. This enables the user to add standard fields, OData services, and CDS fields. Keep in mind, though, these fields in the data source extensions are read-only. SAP provides a variety of business objects. However, in some cases, it may be necessary for you to create your own custom business objects. SAP allows this through our custom business objects application. You'll be able to create your own business objects, which will also create a database table, generate and create an update of data services for your custom business object, and even implement custom logic in your custom business object. You'll also be able to generate your own UI. While SAP does allow for the creation of custom fields and custom business logic, please keep in mind that these cannot be marked as relevant for data protection and privacy. Therefore, it's not recommended that you store any kind of sensitive data within these custom fields or custom business objects. Another application that SAP provides for extensibility is custom reusable elements. Here you can create custom code lists. For instance, if you have particular drop-down menus you would like for a particular field, you can define it here. You can also define it in different languages. Also, you can define custom libraries for reusable methods that can use across your developments, as well as reusable structures. You can call these reusable elements and structures and our custom logic and batting implementations and the logic of any of your custom business objects. Custom logic tracing allows you to debug your code. You can look through it and trace the values of your input outputs and change parameters and see where other exceptions may occur within your code. A great way to say extensibility from end to end for a business context is using the extensibility cockpit. Here you can see UIs, APIs, business logic, business scenarios, CDS views, and forms. This basically gives you an end to end on the solution, on the solution scope for a scope item for a business context. It also displays extensible objects for the selected business context. There's all a link to objects and extensions such as custom fields, standard APIs, and CDS views. Another way of getting a good overview of extensibility is extensibility inventory. You can display an overview of all your extensibility items and association dependencies between various extensibility items. You can also import and export extensibility items from the system. In case you're looking for a certain CDS view or other analytical queries and cubes, you can use the view browser. This displays all CDS views. You can see it by the view, the view types, the tables, and the fields. Keep in mind, though, you will need the business role of SAP BR Analytics Specialist in order to view this all. Speaking of user roles and authorizations, you can also restrict your extensive objects by associating them to catalogs, just as you would do in any application. This can be done for custom business objects, custom UI, and custom analytical queries. And roles of catalogs can be maintained using identity and access management applications as well. Remember, you're developing all of this within your queue environment. In order to see in production, you may be required to use transport management. You can add extended objects in a software collection and queue system and provision to add all the dependent objects in the software collection. You can use import software collection and piece system once export has been done from the queue system. Now we'll take a look at side-by-side -side extensibility. This is for custom development and is generally done within our SAP Cloud Platform. You can integrate SAP Cloud applications and third-party applications through this. As you can see, it extends our core process before and after steps, for example, customer service or triggers from sensor data, and also new standalone apps for IoT applications. Our side-by-side -side extensibility is a lot more advanced than our in-app extensibility, obviously. This requires more of a development mind. As you can see, this provides flexibility for our customers to develop, and our partners to develop their own applications. We can use cloud SDKs and, of course, the web IDE. It's highly scalable, and it's decoupled from SAP S4 on cloud via APIs, events, and replication services. It also supports hybrid scenarios. Some are more common use cases for side-by-side -side extensibility include different types of proxy applications, which are highly connected applications through throughput and shielded from the s cloud system from the internet, 
also convenience applications, basically optimizing or taking an existing user experience and simplifying it for an organization. Pre-processing application, of course, is collecting the data before it's processed by S4I cloud system. And even post-processing applications react to events from SAP S4I cloud system and providing additional services on SCP or SAP cloud platform. Other common use cases are simply creating new applications for S4 HANA Cloud. Also substitute applications, again, replacing specific process or step within S4 HANA Cloud, and even analytical applications where we're connecting multiple data sources into one analytical database. SAP offers a number of tools, mainly software developer kits that can be used to create these applications a little quicker and a little faster. With SAP Cloud Platform SDK, we can create generic extensions for ODA consumption and provisioning of business events. With Cloud SDK, based on the SAP Cloud Platform SDK with additional knowledge of SF4 Cloud processes and objects, it's even easier and quicker to build side by extensions with SAP S4 Cloud. Customers can cover their own requirements and even partners can build applications to sell on our app store. Obviously, there are more SAP courses, blogs, and white papers out there. However, this is a small subset that may be important for getting you started. Two of the bigger ones I would identify to are the uh, Extensibility Explorer within the miscellaneous, and also the API Business Hub, which lists all your whitelisted APIs that can be used. If you have any questions, please reach out to your respective account teams, whether it be your customer success manager, customer engagement executive, or your account executive. Thank you for your time.